who will drive you for TNT? I want to say that if we believe in ourselves and we believe in Trinidad and Tobago, that sense of pride, that sense of unity, I localize everything at a young age studying in Trinidad and Tobago while being a professional athlete. And I wanted to show Trinidadians that we could do it from at home, that we don't need to be go outside, that we don't need to go outside to be successful. And once we believe in ourselves and the program that we're in, keep that close support. We don't need too much friends, we don't need too much badness on the team. There are always going to be criticisms. And it's just to keep to yourself and within the, the close team of people that are supporting you genuinely. This, this answers the critics that maybe J.U. Gordon should have gone into, into the American collegiate system. I don't think I've answered the critics. I've answered the people who have believed in me. My coach, Dr. Ian Hippolyte, he told me what I could do from a very young age, and I just, I gave everything in time. I, I, I believed in this program 150%, and I showed people what I could do from Trinidad and Tobago, localizing the whole setting. And you're just 21 years of age, an entire career ahead of you. What are the rest of your goals in the career ahead? My goal is to take things one step at a time. I want to I wanna attain any global title there is in athletics. There's going to be a lot of pressure on me now, but I'm staying humble, I'm staying hungry, and there's, a, there's still a lot of maturity for me coming into these. Thanks, there's still a lot, a lot of maturity for me going ahead and developing through the 400 meter hurdles. When you dive for the line, were you thinking for the result to come up on the board because it was a very close race? What were your thoughts? I was thinking. Lie down here as long as possible, so by the time I raise up, I'm going to see my name at the top of the screen. And when you did see your name, what were your thoughts? I was just happy to know that all the hard work paid off. I believed in my coach, I kept my faith in Jehovah God, and he pulled me through at the end of the day. Came into the final very relaxed, you didn't seem to be under any pressure. What contributed to the fact that you, you went into that race feeling as though maybe you had nothing to lose? I went into the race feeling I had nothing to lose because most of the pressure was on Michael Tinsley, he's the American champion. All the media, um, they, they support and they back Americans, they back Europeans, but nobody ever back the small countries. And I just wanted to focus on my lane, focus on the 10 hurdles that I had to go through. And just remember my coach saying it's going to be a foot race coming off of the last hurdle. Put your foot down, roll your hands, and then I remember my, my mom telling me, just push your head, J.U., to go over that finish line. Congratulations, J.U. Well Thank done. you very much. You talked about... You talked about...